everybody, it's 8.31 and uh, of course I did do my morning pre-trip when we were fueling and uh, we were just coming to exit at the 498 uh, off 35 going to our pickup and uh, I noticed coming over the last set of uh, bumps in that through the construction zone, my steering was acting a little funny. So as soon as we hit the exit, I, when I realized I didn't have really any left turn, I figured, okay, I'll pull over. I hit my hazards, got to a safe location, off the road. And when I popped my hood, one of my uh, shocks for my hood on the hood side had come off. And what did it do? It fell back into the steering. So where it went from, and I'll point with this, come this way, Sam, so you can see. It mounts here, goes up, you can't see, but it goes up and mounts on here. And what had happened is when it popped off, it's the perfect length from here to get back into the steering area. And what it done is it fell and hit right here in the steering area, was catching on this and making it so I couldn't turn. So really, it's only going to take me a couple seconds. I'm going to go see which way they have it on the other side. I'll show you real quick. You can see it right there up in front. You see where it goes? Uh -huh. So we're going to put it back just like that. And, as, and looking at it, as you can see, it still has, there's a metal clip that goes across on this side, which it still has, and there's still a metal, metal clip on this side. This one was a little loose. I tapped it and it went right back on. So we're going to see if we get this thing go back with a little love. <laughs> Might want to come on my right side. My other glove back on. I'm already gonna have to use a wet wipe. And see, guys, first thing I was thinking here's the power steering. I checked this, everything was fine, all my fluids were fine. So the first thing I thought was it was the power steering itself. And as you can see, the steering's still fine. And you can see, actually, if you look, it did rub the knuckle a little bit and it did go across the top. So, but you see the line there for when it hit. But that is fine. So now, this end mounts too good. Really? They put them on backwards? It even says on it. The other side's backwards. Nice. So I'm going to put it on the way it says. It's not going to stay on. So, instead of fighting it, I am just going to take it right back off. Oh. So, what I'll do, since this side's already loose, quite worn. Yeah, looks original. There's this little metal piece up here, and that's what fell off. And as you can see, there's really not much of a tooth in there to grab onto. I could probably get it to work, but there's not enough there. So, if I can find another replacement, I will. If not, Gonna slow me down. It doesn't, it's not mechanical. It's not mechanical. All it is is to make this easier to open. You know what? I used to open my international hood that didn't have these assists. Yeah. So, whatever. So, we're gonna get the hell back on the road. You can breathe your ball you want, but even something as small as this can screw your day up. So, seriously, check everything. Maybe from now on, I'll start tugging on these because these things look damn old. So, yeah. not to be used for van, VIN numbers after. Special. Alright, <laughs> throw us in the side box, throw us in the side box, bring it. Right here. Look to your right. Oh! Guess we're gonna have to mark this. I bet you they put in a chance field and the other one went under. Remember, this is a truck scale, not a car scale.
the first three are in. First way. Clap, clap. Three, zero, six, two, two, six. Three, zero, six, two, two, six. Yes, sir. So, for all you guys that kind of went through a griping phase just this last week or last couple of days in regards to um, us getting rid of the zombie thing and then the new new name, the trucking couple, what it was is when the original title, um, we weren't really going for much with, I was I didn't know how much interaction Sam was going to have in, that's why we started off with the Zombie Hunter channel, and then Sam wanted to come on the road with this job. And then it turned into where it was more, we, I got a better response video-wise with Sam in the videos. So it turned into where now, Sam's a big part of the videos, so that's why it's a trucking couple. Um, downside with YouTube, you can't just pull a channel name down and put up a different one or change it. You're stuck with it, kind of like certain things with Facebook and other places. So the name change basically happened because of it just we wanted something that went with what we do. We're a couple that trucks, so trucking couple. And then 09 is that's the year we got married, so trucking couple 09. So um, no, none of our uh, 
the prior accounts were ever taken down for AdSense or monetization or anything like that. No breach of music that we've been, somebody asked us and they said they thought that that's why we got shut down or suspended. No, um, anything I put up, I test before you guys get it live. Um, if it comes up where it says third party content or something that it won't play in certain areas, we pull it, re-edit, throw it back up. Um, all music, most of the time is royalty free that we use. Um, now that we're not going for ads in our uh, videos, um, basically uh, we're not worried about third party content as much. Um, there's too much crap and hoops to go through to be a premiere member or whatever the hell YouTube's thing is with all that. Um, Nick, Sam, basically of course, I'm Nick, wife Sam, she's down there. You're up in the driver's lounge with me tonight at this point. And uh, what it is is what the definite, what, what, like the video you now see where it says Nick and Sam, you see me outside the truck and then Sam in the truck, is Sam basically is the one that takes care of all the laundry and cooking and um, everything basically inside the truck that makes it more of a home. Uh, more comfort comfort for me the driver and my job is basically to make sure that the truck runs uh, I you know do the tr trip routing she helps me with the routing um, and all that and uh, so my job is to actually do the work and she's the rider um, she doesn't have a CDLA whether she wants one or not I don't know that's her choice down the road um, but at this point she's just a rider really no hands-on um, if you see her in videos she's holding the camera that's it she's not physically touching the truck more than getting in and out of it you know what I'm saying or say pointing to something um, like you saw at the beginning of this um, where uh, we were dealing with the hood issue which really wasn't an issue um, Swift rider policy Rider can't have a CDLA, has to be over a certain age to be year round. I think it's 18 or 21. It has to be a dependent or spouse, somebody, either a child or a wife or a husband, something like that. Um, we want, I can't remember, cell plan, internet. We bring you these videos via, um, we have AT&T cell phone service, along with that we have the AT&T uh, 4G laptop they offer, they offer a little laptop that's got the wireless built right into it, um, so I don't have to sign up for truck stop, seriously slow. Um, this is the laptop, basically it is an Acer Aspire 1722. Um, it has built-in 4G wireless, and actually 90% of the time, it's faster than the truck stop. Hence why, like yesterday, uh, with our 34 reset, we could send up 15, 16 videos in an 11-hour day. Um, we've tried to do it with truck stops. It doesn't work. Um, but we pay for 5 gig to start a month. Um, we pay 50 bucks for the laptop. Our total bill between two cell phones and that laptop is about $200. But we also get, with who the company we're with, there is a percentage discount that we get. I think it's just on some of the, the account. I, I have to see, we just started, signed up for it. So I'll have to get back to you on that one. Um, current what, Sam? Current what? The Cheetos. Basically, um, my knowledge stems from the aspect of uh, over the last few years um, I've driven everything from flatbeds, overwides, uh, live haul turkeys, um, you know stuff like that, reefer units, dry box. Um, I've hauled in those choices um, a lot of stuff and um, also the company I used to work for we used to have to be hands-on you know, proactive uh, maintenance on our vehicles. Um, the garage is always open 24 hours a day to us guys. Unless your truck basically blew a motor, you had to deal with what was going on in your truck yourself practically. So yeah, that helps with the knowledge I have coming into here and why I don't get scared over say a, a, a shock in the hood. You know, pull the truck over, take a look, see what you can do. Eh, same thing with the turn signal. Eh, eh, ball, fix it, move on. Um, don't waste time. Um, of course, also those come as my credentials for, you know, what I've done. Um, 
Comforts, we'll get more into comforts in the truck. We've got stuff like a portable 12 volt TV. Um, you know, we've got, um, you know, our XM satellite we just bit, picked up and started doing. Um, you know, we got a nice, decent coolie. We stop at Walmarts. Um, we've got some movies. I, you know, Sam basically tries to make it like a home. You know, that's why we try to eat in the truck 99% of the time. Um, days off, we kind of give her, I give her the vacation on a day off like yesterday. You know, she wanted to go to Huddle House, which is Waffle House. Um, so we went to Waffle House for breakfast, you know, and then later we got pizza and wedges and dipped the wedges in nacho cheese and that was her day off. So our, my day off, her day off. Um, what makes it feel like home? Um, what makes it home? Basically, uh, you're in the truck. If you're OTR like us, we are in the truck 24/7. We that last day off we took, uh, episode 16, where you seen all the stuff come up. Prior to episode, this episode, we did 21 days, and I think we did close to 8,000 miles plus, and. Um, Basically, we don't like to do the 34 resets. We like to work. Um, you sit, you're not making money. You do, you take a couple days off, you're losing maybe a hundred, hundred and a half a day minimum, depending on what your runs usually are. Um, we did 400 miles today. You know, we're sitting doing it a live unload. You know, I'm, I'm doing this up in the crow's nest or the trucker's lounge, as we affectionately call it, which is my room, upper bunk. Um, Average time out, some companies say a couple of weeks so far. Last time we were in the yard where we're based out of in New Boston, Michigan, actually was the weekend before the 4th. And we were there until the Sunday before the 4th. Um, and I had a load heading right back out. So I was only home long enough to grab Sam, as you've seen in the one video, load up the big rig and get the hell out of here. Um, One thing we don't have is an apartment. We gave up our apartment. The only thing we really got, we pay our bills are basically, um, uh, I pay insurance on my Chevy that sits back at the company yard. Um, and then we have the rest of our stuff in storage. We basically pay for a couple of credit cards. We have a Walmart that we do. We have um, two credit cards that we, we kind of rotate through. Um, Walmart, we usually keep 100 We keep it where no matter what, the available is about $200. As you see, we usually hit a Walmart, and we can kill off 100 bucks in a swing. So it's kind of fun to keep the Walmart as our shopping card, because then we can say, this is what we spent this day. This is, you know, that's why we keep the Walmart as a card that we use. Yeah, and um, this works for us. It doesn't work for exactly everybody else. Um, you know, our average mile is uh, is anything is about 2,500 a week, um, and that's running legal, guys. Um, you know, this week's check, I think, um, minus the paperwork for today, which should have been on this check. I think I had 20, just under 2,400 miles, and my check was close to a little over 720 some dollars. You know, I'm telling it like it is, guys. This is this is you know, I get bigger checks for the more miles I put in, the bigger jobs. You know, some of the short runs. The wife says the reason why we work seven days a week is to help make up for her job. And the thing is, is she was only bringing home every two weeks about 400 bucks, and me working seven days a week easily covers that. And also, it's first time in forever, we have money and savings. Um, for all you guys that don't know, we are more, we grew up in the more the mind frame of camping and stuff like that, more outdoorsy. And actually the reason why we're putting money away is because we have a tra couple of travel trailers um, to, that we want to get. Well, we want to get one, but there's a few miles we like um, that we just want to get and have where we can tow to wherever we want, park it, there you go, there's our vacation, uh, out of the truck. Um, trying to think is that basically I think we've covered a lot of the miscellaneous questions um, our service is AT&T we've liked it we've never really had a problem with service um, you know usually we got signal where other people don't um, I don't know what else guys uh, I'm trying to answer a whole bunch of questions we've had between the last two or three channels the last two channels we've had three channels now because um, it started off zombie hunter trucking couple 
and then Truck and Zombie Hunter, and now there's this one. So amongst the last three channels, I've had questions like this. Um, I hope this answers some of your questions. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll get to them. And yes, I will answer your questions. I know there are people out there that do the vlogging of trucking. Um, I keep it as real as I can get. I'll give you the answers I have and I know. Um, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I ain't going to bullshit you. You want an honest answer? Ask me a question. If I don't have the answer, I'll either give, try to find the answer or tell you, hey, I just don't know. You know, I, I can only give you what knowledge I have from being in this, you know, for five years. So we want your questions. So we do want your questions. Um, I know I got questions on how to do certain things, like I think chaining my tires. Um, that'll be a video down the road. Washing I haven't, the dishes. Washing the dishes. Um, somebody was asking about washing the dishes. Uh, Sam, I love Sam. She takes it. She takes one for the team here. Um, there's either in the early morning because she gets up about a half hour, hour before I do. Uh, and part of her routine, she'll actually take them into the women's bathroom and clean them there. Um, if we're at a rest area, she goes and she picks the, the what is it, the, the solo handicap family assist, if they have one. If they have one. Um, that's one of the things she does take for the team. Um, I've she does. never gotten attitude for it. I've never gotten dirty looks. I've had actually older women that I've noticed from other, coming from other truckers that are couples, and they just kind of smile and chuckle like they've been there themselves. But it's how we're saving money, guys. I mean, you know, we go one day down, and uh, I'll have Sam do a tally for what we spent yesterday. Oh my goodness. And for just one day down, I'll, 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 we'll put it down below, just because you guys are going to ask. So what? Uh, a single day, one day down, I'll tell show you guys how much money we just wasted at a flying hook uh, for a day off. Okay. That didn't include a hotel room, ladies and gentlemen. We could have done a hotel room because we can afford it. But we're not. We didn't do it because it's, it's. What's the point? Because either you're only using it for one night and you're still in the truck for another, or I mean, it's kind of a waste of time. So, anyways, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. We're at a delivery point down here in Houston, Texas, the favorite place we don't like to be. And uh, I don't know what you did to the side of your face. You're bleeding. A fire. Maybe it's dry. Women. Jesus Christ. You still love me? Yes. Okay, good. Then I'll just bleed anyway. Whatever. Later, guys. I'm out of here. I'm Cheeto, and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?